What's up, everybody? It's Randy with Craft Bear Nation coming back at you with another review. Tonight, I have another offering from Trillium, and I'm really excited about this one, more so than I was about the Dialed In, because I've never even heard of this beer, never had it, never had any uh, any variant of it. And now tonight, I get to try the Double Dry Hopped version. I'm going to be looking at the Trillium A Street India Pale Ale. Uh, this one clocks in at 7.2%. So, I mean, not far away from double IPA status, but I, I guess that's a that's a debatable point. Um, you know, some people say seven and a half, some people say eight, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm going to still drink it. So, yeah, this one was canned on October 18th. Today is November 2nd. So right around two weeks old. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I have no idea of what kind of hops are in this beer. As I said earlier, I've never had the non dry hop uh, version of this beer. So jumping right into the double dry hop version is kind of setting the bar kind of high for, for this, right? I guess when I get the regular version, I'm going to be like, oh, man, this doesn't taste as good as the double dry hop. Nonetheless, let's pour this bad boy in the glass so I can tell you what it looked like, what it smelled like, and what it rate like. So, as you can see, um, a lot of those look like juice bombs, right? And I'm looking at it right now, and it looks like orange juice on camera or kind of like uh, like um, nectar, if, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's, 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 it's like orange juice, but it's like a dark, like a dark orange juice, if that, if that makes sense. Obviously, it's super cloudy. You know, we're talking turkey gravy up in here. Um, without the bits, without the chunks floating around, just like a, a well-strained turkey gravy is what this bad boy looks like. Um, presents beautifully in the glass, as Trillium beers tend to do. Um, keeping it proper again in the Trillium headroom, double light, well, it's not proper. It's proper in the sense it's a Trillium glass, but it's not the glass for this beer. It don't matter. Uh, yeah, half a finger ahead. Um, tight, compact bubbles. Looks cloudy and soft. It's like those clouds that you, you know, when you're in the airplane, you fly through a cloud. From now on, when I fly through a cloud, I'm, I'm not going to think that's a cloud. I'm going to be like, man, that's like IPA head right there. So, yeah, there you go. Turkey gravy for sure. Filtered turkey gravy, might I say. So, let me jam my nose in so I can tell you what it smells like. Wow. So, I had the, I had, um, dialed in with Pinot Gris earlier, Pinot Gris juice. This beer has a totally, totally, totally different aroma. That one was all grapefruit and pineapple with a little bit of mango. This one, this one is just like a, like a generic, um, generic tropical fruit. And I, and I, and I hate to, I hate to relegate you to just that because I'm not giving you a lot of aromatic details there, but it's just like a, tropical fruit basket if you will ah, there's something there that i can't i cannot quite put my finger on um almost like like um candied orange peel or maybe even like some the some kind of candied citrus fruit rind I can't say if it's if it's if it's orange rind or if it's candied uh, grapefruit rind, but it's some type of candied citrus fruit rind. It smells incredible, man. This beer might be better than dialed in. I mean, I mean, at this point, just on the nose alone, it, it smells better than dialed in. I mean, not not you know throwing shade at dialed in or anything, but I mean. Really good. Maybe I think maybe there's a little bit of mosaic in here, but because I feel like I can get like a little tiny bit of that um like that blueberry blueberry thing going on like at the very you know with with, with mosaic hops they say you can smell blueberry, but 
personally, I pick up the blueberry on the very back, like right when I'm finishing that, 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 that sniff, I get the blueberries right on the very back. And that's, I think that's what I'm getting here. Yeah. I got to see what it tastes like. Cheers, y'all. True to form. Two of my PAs have that first quick little sting of carbonation at the front of your tongue. Glee. Medium minus mouthfeel, which is fine because, I mean, it's not like a double IPA. Thick, something meant to be creamy. I'm, I'm sure they could do it if they want to because they've done it before. Um, from a flavor perspective, that same thing that I got on the nose follows right onto the palate. It's um, it's a UFF, an identified flying flavor. Like I can't, like, I can't, I cannot put my finger on this, man. I'm going to go with, like, I, I, I've never had candied grape, grapefruit, candied grapefruit peel before. But if, if, if someone were to candy some grapefruit peel, I feel like it would taste like this. Candy some grapefruit peel and then, like, squeeze, like, some guava papaya pineapple and mango juice all over like this bowl of candied grapefruit peel it, it, it's it's what this is it's like a a tropical fruit basket with with some citrus influences right in, the, in their grapefruit it's a beautiful hot perf performance going on here right to to get all the aspects of tropical fruits not necessarily one individually and then kind of come right back at it with, with a little bit of uh, uh, like a citrus element to it. That's a, I don't know. This is like a, the, the, the work of a hop master, right? Any, any, anytime somebody can make a killer beer, um, you know, specifically an IPA with probably different hop varietals in it. Right. When, and, and you taste it and you can't identify any one hop, Function of there being too many hops in the beer. I mean, some 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 IPAs have like seven hops. That's just way too much. That's that's that's, that's not even necessary. You're doing too much at that point. But then sometimes you run across something like this, or if you ever had um hop out bleh, hop art from Coast down in Charleston, um that be, that beer is literally a display of hop art, right? They they kind of did their thing with hops on that beer. This this one right here right along those same lines. Um, you get a lot of really, a lot of flavors that you've experienced before, but because they they're intertwined so well with the other flavors of the beer, you don't, you don't necessarily get any one flavor, but you just get kind of, uh, you know, vestiges of all those different hop flavors that you've had before. And, you know, it's, it's very, this is a very well done beer or, or should I say a very well hopped beer? If, if, if that makes any sense to you guys. I really like this one. Yeah. And and as per usual, Trillium, super dry on the finish, making you want to go back and drink more. I don't keep drinking. I'm not going right back to it because I'm trying to keep dissecting that flavor. I'm going right back to it because the beer is dry and I want to take another sip. This bad boy is good. I drink it all day. I tell you what. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This works. I think now as it's warming up a little bit, I'm getting a little more. Typically, this style doesn't have a whole lot of um, – there isn't much focus on hot bitterness. But this one, I'm getting a little – as it warms up, I'm getting a little more of that grapefruit pith. So I'm almost – I feel pretty safe in saying that there's probably some citra in here along with some – um, a little bit of mosaic and, and some galaxy is what I'm guessing. And um, I, I – I, but just based off of a hunch and, and, and what I'm tasting, Citra Mosaic and Galaxy. Um, if you know, please feel free to comment below and prove me wrong. Um, I don't, I don't, I like to be right, <laughs> but if I'm wrong, I like to be corrected so I won't be wrong anymore. 
So anyway, Double Dry Hopped A Street from Trillion Brewing Company of Boston, Massachusetts. Um, I'm going to give this 4.25 CBN caps because it's very well done, just very well hopped, and I, and, I, and I can respect that, and I can enjoy that. So there you go, 4.2 CBN caps for Trillium's Double Dry Hopped A Street um, coming in at 7.2% ABV. Don't forget, smash that like button below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And until the next review, ladies and gentlemen, cheers.